Hey guys, what's going on? It's Crystal Collects, and in this video, I'll be opening up the three Korean Pokemon sets that make up the English release, Chilling Rain. So yes, this means I'll be opening up one booster box each of Matchless Fighters, Silver Lens, and also Jet Black Poltergeist. So that means I'll be opening up 90 booster packs in this video. And of course, if you put these three sets together, you have a total of 233 cards, as opposed to the Korean releases, which each have 95 to 96 cards. Of course, there are some exceptions. For example, the Honey Full Art, which you can pull from Chilling Rain in English, actually released as a promo in South Korea upon the release of Single Strike and also Rapid Strike Master. Also, some cards that I noticed in Matchless Fighters and also Jet Black Poltergeist slash Silver Lands are actually not included in Chilling Rain. For example, the Draco Zolt V and VMAX, as well as the Arctovish V. So, of course, very interesting differences there. But if this is your first time watching a Korean Pokemon opening, please keep in mind the quality of Korean cards will be very different to the English cards, even though they both have yellow borders. If you really touch them side by side, you guys will really see what I mean. And one other thing to note about Korean booster boxes is that they do not guarantee a secret rare. If you do pull a secret rare, however, you do get at most one, as opposed to the English booster boxes, which will have around like zero to four full arts or secret rare cards. And last but not least, in terms of chase cards, I'm of course after a bunch of alternate art cards, as you guys can see on the screen. So hopefully you'll pull something amazing. Again, we're gonna pull between zero and three secret rares in this video. So before we get started, please make sure to smash that like button and also subscribe if you'd like to see more multi-language Pokemon content. Let's get started. All right, so as mentioned, I'll be opening up three booster boxes. Yes, I'm holding them all with two hands somehow. So we're gonna have 90 packs. And of course I'm gonna open these individually, but also, you know, gonna shuffle the packs as well. So we're getting a bit of each throughout the opening. And with that being said too, guys, thank you so much for your patience. Faye is back and he's doing a lot better, aren't I'm you? back. He's back and Finally. better than ever. So yes, we're just gonna take all the plastic off. And also one thing that's really interesting too that I'll show you guys as well, the Silver Lens, a box as well as the Jet Black Poltergeist box doesn't have the campaign, so there's no more codes there. But yes, let me just take this plastic up and then we'll get started. As you can see too on screen, we're gonna have sets S5A, S6H, and S6K. So yeah, let's take all these packs out. It's gonna be really cool, guys. Alrighty, so we have our three tall piles of the three sets I mentioned. We're gonna start off with Matchless, and then we're gonna go one pack each. I think that'll be a cool assortment of packs. If you guys like this style of opening, be sure to comment below. I'm definitely curious to see what you guys think to this. It's and of course, definitely a bigger video. Something very different, right? And of yeah. course, with Korean packs, there is no card trick. Very different from the Japanese version, and also very different from the English version. We have a armored vest there. All right, so no first pack magic from Matchless Fighters, but maybe we'll get first pack magic from Silver Lens. One thing I'll definitely say though about the Korean releases, they've definitely gotten a little bit better in terms of putting in that secret rare in the box, because sometimes you don't see them, especially in the Sun and Moon era, but I've definitely noticed a lot more secret rare pulls. And on top of that, we definitely have a lot better card quality. I definitely don't notice, don't notice as much curving. If you guys haven't watched Korean Pokemon cards being opened before, sometimes I mention that cards with hollow foil will tend to curve if left out in humidity for a very long time. So definitely something to keep note of if you want to preserve your cards. Again, I'm not too sure if that has anything to do with grading, as a, since it's not like affecting the curves. Um, I mean the edges, the corners, or the surface. Unless, I don't know, maybe the curvature maybe causes some interference in the packs. It's a little bit hard to say. Now on to Matchless Fighters again. So cycling through these packs. Definitely very interesting. Oh wow, we have Urshifu single strike version, also known as Ilgyok Uwarosu. So I'll be throwing in some Korean names here and there. Now we're on to Silver Lance. I haven't opened a set, I mean, a whole like three box opening for a long time, guys. So, and to make up for the absence, I hope you guys like the mass opening. I hope you're excited, Jay. <gasps> and there's our first pull. We have Galarian Rapid Dash, number 29 out of 70. And one thing to notice too, the cards are a little bit more saturated, so that's very interesting. So we but have- answer to your question, yes, it is great to be back. Yes. Um, with the standard video. Something different, something to kind of compare the Korean releases with the English releases because I always get questions about Korean cards, so I hope this answers a lot of your questions. Please watch the video. And also demonstrates the differences. I also try to give some tidbits about the cards as well during the actual openings. And we have a Squovit holographic. Just so you guys, you know, like while I'm opening the cards, you're also learning a little bit of each. Is that K? Yes, that's K. Another easy way to tell which set the cards are from, so I do not get mixed up. I'm gonna try to order at uh, open these at random, but also in order if that makes sense. Organized chaos. We have Diglett. We have Avery. 
also known as sabri in um, Korean. Savory. Think about like the term organized mess. Organized mess. Oh sure. Yeah, that's gonna be a, quite a mess at the end of this video. We have a lot of packs to go through. All right, so we have silver lens, but I like this as well. We have three different sets, and it's not gonna be just like one set at a time. We get to open different cards at set, uh, all at once, so this will be super cool. And we have Gallade. That would have been so cool as a hollow. I always mention that because it looks really awesome as an artwork right there. And we had a Gardevoir holographic recently, so I'm, I'm pretty surprised that Gallade didn't get its own. No VMAX card yet though, but we'll see. Usually you get about two VMAXs per booster box. So very similar to the uh, Japanese booster boxes. I'm not sure with English booster boxes because sometimes I feel like you get maybe like one VMAX, sometimes two if you're lucky. In the past it's definitely been a bit more consistent, but I'm, no I'm noticing a lot more variety lately in terms of the English pull rate, so it's very interesting. We have Tentacool, we have Lantern, we have Swirlix, or Swirlpuff, and we have Inteleon. Actually, it looks very nice with the yellow borders, that one, since Inteleon has some yellow on it. All right, now on to Silver Lance. So, a nice mix up or mashup of sets, the, the release in, uh, Chilling Rain. I was, was going to put English and Chilling Rain in the same word. That's really a mashup right there. We have Hypno and Lycanroc. Lots of hollow so far, only one V card. But who knows? I can't really say if the secret rare appears more towards the front or the back of the box. So as you can see too, we do not have team left or team right. It's only team one pile. But let's see, who do you think is going to win today, Jay? Who, who do you think is not going to have the I secret mean, rare? I've always loved the set. Um, oh, Ooh, look who it is. Card. One of your favorite, Jetta Oda. So that, instead of a Z I in- I do like that V card. In, it is actually pen. Instead of Z in Korean, it's actually pronounced as J. So that's very interesting. Ah, J for J. <laughs> look there at you that. Go. There but we yeah, go. Yeah, um, in, in terms of a favorite set of these ones, I've got to go with the Matchless Fighters. Oh, Matchless Fighters. Oh, yeah. I know I know what you're after. I'm going to go Matchless Fighters. Jet Black Poltergeist and then Silver, Silver Lance. Lance last for me. Oh, yeah. I think I'm tied between Jet Black Poltergeist and Matchless Fighters. Matchless Fighters because of the legendary birds, but also I'm very in love with the alt art in Jet Black Poltergeist, such as that Calyrex V Max. I am obsessed with that Bishamo. Blaziken, also known as Bonjiko in Korean. Bonjiko. Bonjiko. Eh, for, for this language, for this video, it's going to be Bonjiko. Bonjiko. Also known as Hoyanji in Chinese. Which means flaming chicken. So somehow we've learned all four names of Blaziken. Also, there's more names, you of course. Them? Sure. So English, Blaziken. Japanese, Bashamo. Korean, Bonjiko. And in Chinese, Hoyanji. Mad. Since the word ho means Mad. fire, that's one easy way to remember Blaziken's name in Chinese. Because also you see ho in Charizard's Chinese name, Pen Ho Long. All right, we have the old graveyard. That's serious uh, language lesson right there. Yeah, I mean, that's just from opening these packs over, like, so many packs across time. And also just repeating it after myself so many times as well. Okay, so we have Swirlix. We have Scraggy keeping, no, that, that's not keeping its pants on because it's running through the room. And we have Draco's old Pachiragon, I believe is the Korean name. And again, interestingly enough, this is not included in the Chilling Rain set. I don't know if any of you have noticed so far. Number 23 out of 70 and more saturated compared to the Japanese and especially the English version. I've seen some English Chilling Rain cards and I'm like, what happened to the saturation? It's like the color got washed away a little bit. And also, too, one thing I've noticed with Korean cards, they're a little bit more waterproof, just from observation. Like I said, if you touch these two cards next to each other, you'll really feel a difference. And we have Frost last there. All right, so no, so far, no early secret rares. Maybe they'll all appear towards the end, if they appear at all. But again, that's what Not makes the Korean... Is it? That's what makes the Korean booster boxes a real gamble, but something very interesting, too, to experience. Seabold and Tapu Fini, very nice. The Korean names are very similar to the um, Japanese names, I believe. Like Kapu Kokeko is Tapu Koko in Japanese, and in Korean it's Kapu Koko Kok. So very like similar. One, it sounds very repetitive, <laughs> so like clockwork. So yeah. cute. Stoutland is also not in Chilling Rain, which is very interesting. I don't know why I remember that random card, but yes, yeah, some common cards uncommon cards are actually not included in Chilling Rain, but the overall gist is that the majority of the cards from these three sets will be in Chilling Rain. Who knows, maybe Pachiragun or Dracozolt will be included in a later set, maybe Evolving Skies, since there's a lot of dragon Pokemon. Again, this is just a prediction, it's not a confirmation. And we have Doctor, one of my friend's favorite trainers. Um, and with that being said too, 
Of course, if, if you're looking for honey in Japanese or in Korean, again, it's a promo in those countries. And in English, you can actually pull it from Jetfly Poltergeist. So it's also in the reverse. If you weren't able to pull or able to get honey in Korean or Japanese, you can definitely get it in English, <laughs> in Chilling Rain or in Spanish or French or any of the European languages, right? But yes, also between the Korean and the Japanese promos of honey, definitely different in quality. I'd say the honey promo is more saturated, thicker texture than the Japanese version. And we have Hatrine. We had Hatrem and Hatrine in the same pack. Too bad no Hatena. And I feel like I'm going a little bit faster on the Silver Lance and Jet Black Poultry yeah, guys. Sometimes. Very even. They don't. <laughs> you guys probably can't see it from your view, but from my view, I'm like, from, wait. My e from my view, it don't look even. I'm like, wait, the mattress, it's all right. It's all right. the mattress fighters piled a little bit taller. Let me go ahead and fix that. And we have Tornadus, also known as Tonerosu in Korean. And this is number 58 out of 70. But check out that texturing, a lot thicker and a lot more saturated. I mean, you're going to open them up anyway, yeah. so. I'm just going to catch you up. Out of order, it's not all that bad. going to match up matchless fighters. Oh, get it? I didn't even intend for that. That's oh, hilarious. There you go, there you I go. see what I did there. <laughs> Continuing, we have Carvana. We have not stout, but no, herdier. Every time I see like a, a dog that looks like herdier, just like, oh my god, it's herdier. And we have Buntico V Max. We have a Blaziken V Max. So that's another V Max. We're gonna get at least six V Maxes, I'd say, in this video. So that'll be really cool. Oh, not no pun intended because it's chilling rain. Sorry guys for the really bad jokes in this video. I'm just, it's been a bit. We took a little bit of a break, but again, just to make up for the absence, we're gonna. I'm back and recover. Yeah, Jay is back because you know Jay is essential part of the Crystal Collects team, and we have Volcanion. Very nice with the glossiness there. Again, also that's one big thing that's different from the Korean cards versus the English cards. It's definitely a bit more glossy. I mean, yeah, it's only us two, but you know. Yes. Massive team. <laughs> yes, massive team. Hey, the the teamwork makes the dream that, work, right? That, that is very true. <laughs> Very, sometimes very sometimes it's just good to have you know each other whenever you know yeah. save time exactly. we have weedle we have whirlipede oh weedle and whirlipede one after the other Lilligant and karen karen's conviction specifically i like how these trainer cards have like these like complex words after the name like ends resolve or resolution again and also those words i can never remember i do not know why all right, we have Bull Door. We have Sabori. <gasps> Another V Max. Look at that! Wow, those were so close to each other. We have Galarian Slow yeah, King. Kind of interesting how you pulled the V Max is very close together. Gararu Yado King is the, I believe, Korean and also Japanese name. Very similar. Now the piles are looking a bit more level. <laughs> Trying my best, guys. If I go out of order, it is what it is. It's just part of the nature of the opening. But yeah, so far, lots of VMAX pulls. I feel like we already got all the Matchless Fighters ones. And we got one from Silver Lance. I am somehow keeping track. We have Melon. Meloni. Melon is her Japanese name. I feel like it's going to be a little different in Korean. Now let's get on to Jet Black Poltergeist. I feel like I've been just opening so many Matchless Fighters in order to catch up. Okay, we have Tim Pole. We have the Cutie Fight Evolution. We have Fletchinder. Oh, and Talon Flame. Very nice. And Grap Locked, Splintering a Tree. Ooh, I would not want to be in Grap Locked's arms. Do not give Grap Locked a hug and also do not be close to it in the game because it will chase after you at alarming speeds. I do not know how it does it. I should do some gameplay on the channel one day. Yeah. Especially with the we new RC like game. Some, uh Arceus in Korean. Mm, oh, that would be so cool. Or that'll Arceus in Chinese. That'll definitely train my um, language skills. We have Shaman there. Very nice. That's also, a friend told me that's one of the best ways to learn a language. Playing the games in the language that you want to learn, whether it's Japanese, Chinese, or even Korean. I've, it's really cool also seeing the graphics of the games in the different languages. Multi-language game collection coming soon, maybe. <laughs> Agron. And Jarudo, also known as Zarud. I actually forgot that was a holographic card, but there you go. It's a hollow. And also quite nice with the yellow borders. I'm not going to complain about it. But let's see what else we can get. Still no VMAX from Jet Black Poltergeist. Again, I'm also talking, so I'm going to be distracted. I'll probably open everything in different orders. So, But as long as we finish the piles, right? <gasps> and we have Celebi. Celebi be in korea number four out of 70. i love the saturation on this card please hit the like button just for celebi because that's one of my favorite v max cards what if we pulled the v uh the blaziken v max alt art Ooh, i know somebody who will be so happy about that oh yeah who's okay. that you oh because you even said that was your chase card oh yeah okay, we, have <laughs> we have carvana we have drizzile we have dinatree hill very nice 
Also, when I started seeing the cards in English, I'm like, yeah. oh my gosh, I'm not used to that. Oh, it's yeah, such yeah, a different yeah. experience when I see all these cards translated into English. Because, of course, if you haven't seen by now, a lot of the Asian releases come way before the English releases. Like two to three months, not too far ahead. But, of course, usually the order is Japanese, then apparently now it's Taiwanese, and then Korean, and then Thai, and then Indonesian. Taiwan has caught up really Taiwan fast. has caught up quick. Because, of course, they had their little, like, revival in 2019. Yeah, did mention Thailand. Oh, did not forget. Yep. There's the five language. Oh, another rainbow savory. I think I have this. Maybe oh, is, it, is it in Korean? I think I also have one in Korean. That's oh, so yeah. interesting. This is my second one, but there you go. Rainbow rare for matchless fighters. I'll put that on the side. My little secret rare pile right there. All right. So there we go. That's secret rare part one. Let's see if we can get two more. Again, I always get happy even if it's a repeat just because you're not guaranteed a secret rare. So when you do land one, it's like, yay. And also one other thing I've noticed, I've been getting a lot of alt arts in Korean lately, which is very interesting. Usually my luck with alt arts isn't that great. Oh, we have a Tauros, which is also a hollow. Almost missed the fact that that was a hollow. Sometimes the hollow foil is a little bit dull. But yes, there we go. Hyper rare. What if I can pull a hyper rare alt art? Those are so hard to pull, let me tell you. I've de been definitely pulling way more rainbow trainers than rainbow Pokemon or even alt art hyper rares. So we have Galarian Weezing and Rapid Strike Energy Scroll. Alrighty, back onto Mattress Fighters. I don't even know. It looks like the Jap Black Poltergeist pile is actually getting taller. I feel like because I neglected Matchless Fighters for a little bit, I started focus focusing on it a little bit more. Okay, we have Vinipede. We have Woolbat. I still haven't pulled Claro. I feel like I've pulled so many trainers except Claro. I don't know why. Then again, in the game, I kind of didn't like her. And I guess she doesn't like me back. But she's an interesting poison type trainer. You know, she did become a gym leader later on eventually. All right, I think we might have something in this pack. Let's see. We have Sableye. We have Flaffy. Oh, it looks a little bit sparkly. Oh, an another rainbow trainer. That's wild. And my first Caitlyn trainer. Smash the like button for me. Number 91 out of 70. A hyper rare card. Also, I don't know if you haven't noticed, the hyper rares are quite saturated. Probably a little bit more compared to the Japanese. I'm not going to say a whole ton. But wow, there you go. So from two piles. Um, we got the secret rares kind of like in the middle towards the front. Oh, we still have a lot more packs, so let's get on going. So we got our two secret rares. My mystery is solved. So let's see what else we can get. We got Curlia. Again, lots of yellow borders in this video because it is Korean cards. For those who think that the Korean cards are the same as Japanese cards, unfortunately, the cardstock is very different compared to the Japanese cardstock. Japanese cardstock is usually found in the Taiwanese cards, the Thai cards, Indonesian cards, and of course the Japanese cards. But with Korea, South Korea specifically, they just do their own thing, which is very interesting. But also one reason why I like the Korean cards, because they really have their own unique releases. Of course, the sets will be the same as the Japanese sets, but in terms of like products, they really have their own thing going on, which is really fun. If you haven't, you know, watched my channel, sometimes I open their uh, unique collection boxes. And now we have Cresselia, very nice hollow in its pre-curved form. All right, I think now we've caught up with Jet Black Poltergeist. So let's get onto the other sets. I have a massive like pile of snippets on the side here, and I think we have a V card. Let's see what we have here. Hopefully a V Max. It's been a while since we pulled one. Yes, it actually is a V Max, and we have. Oh, <gasps> it's not a V Max. It's an Alt Art Tornadoes. Wow. Oh, there you guys go. Pat on back. We have three secret rares in this video. Smash the like button, and also an Alt Art. So that's a beautiful card, number seventy nine out of 70. And one per box, just to be clear. And one per box. All right, guys, so the mystery is already solved. And you know what's interesting too? They all came up around the same time. Very fascinating. All right, guys, so let's just get through the rest of these packs. We have so many packs to go through still. I'm so surprised though. I did not expect to get three Seeker Rares. So there you have it. We have a Beedrill Holographic. So one thing I also mentioned in the beginning of the video, you were probably not gonna get more than one Seeker Rare. Unfortunately, that's how it is. But Jay, what do you think to the secret rare pulls? Are you happy with them? Honestly, because considering sometimes you don't even get a secret rare, this is a pretty good returning video right here. Right? And also we got an alt art. So and amazing. Also you got an alt art. Right? Mad. I actually have that in Japanese, so now I have a comparison to do. It's gonna be really cool. Okay, we have Litleo. We could probably check that out on Instagram, guys. Bergmite. 
We have Serena and then some intense impact energy, I believe is the name. But yes, it's not every day you pull alt arts, but I did say that before. For some reason in Korean, I've been pulling a bit more, more alt arts than usual. But yes, I can definitely say the quality is definitely very different from the Japanese version. Thicker texture. The color is about the same. Again, a little bit more saturated. It's not too different. If anything, the Japanese cards and the Korean cards are definitely a bit more saturated compared to the English version. So quality is definitely very different. And I think also a lot of people ask about fake Korean cards. Usually the glossiness is very off. The cardstock is very thin. These are actually very thick if you ever feel them in person. That's one way you can really tell it's authentic or not. And of course, it won't be overly glossy. I believe even Pokemon Korea posted an image of a fake, like, astonishing Volt Tackle looking deck, even though it should be a booster box. So usually when it's off as like a fake product, it's very obvious, the signs. If it looks very close to the real product, I, I probably wouldn't think it's fake at that point. Also, the main thing is check for licensing. That's the safest way you can um, assume whether something is real or not. If you guys ever look at those fake Hidden Fates packs in English that are probably from China, usually they don't have licensing on the back. And again, those are in English. I've seen way more fake cards in English than any other language. If anything, if any of you have fake Korean cards, please let me know. I'm still looking for them to open and compare them. I'm ready to rip some of those fake cards just to compare them to the real ones. So you guys can really see for yourself what are the true differences between the real and the fake Korean Pokemon cards in particular. All right, so we're still continuing our journey. We have some hollow cards, we got Cobalion, and we actually pulled that lovely Gardevoir I talked about earlier. But yes, um, again, obvious signs if there are fake Pokemon cards. And also, one thing I've also noticed too, these three booster boxes do not have advertisements. That's also completely normal because usually the advertisements appear in the first print run. I think there was also an exception with the Jet Black Poltergeist Silver Lance release because there were also those codes that you can use in the Nintendo Switch Sword and Shield game. And for some reason, the advertisements only came up in Silver Lance and not Jet Black Poltergeist, so that was very interesting. But Matches Fighters, there was definitely a bunch of adverts that were actually really fun to collect. I think we got a V card here. And we got Blaziken Bonjiko number 7 out of 70. So yes, we get another look at Blaziken. Still have yet to see the VMAX alt art. I really want to see that one day, whether in Korean, Japanese, Chinese. I guess we'll hunt for it eventually. Gotta love Mattress Fighters though, lots of lovely trainers and a lot of emphasis too on the DLCs from Pokemon. Definitely loved Isle of Armor. And then of course, these th these three sets also focus on Chilling Rain. I mean, not Chilling Rain, Crown Tundra. I'm putting those two names together. Big focus on Calyrex, whether Shadow Rider or Ice Rider Calyrex. And I think we have another V card in this one. I'm already going out of order, but it's all right. As long as we end all the packs on the same note, right? And we have Arctovish, another card that you do not see in Chilling Rain. I do not know how this is gonna appear in English, but yeah, something to keep note of. Don't think it's gonna be a Korean or Japanese exclusive. I'm sure at some point it will make an appearance. But you notice that the fossil Pokemon are left out. That's so interesting. Because when, before I do comparisons, I'd like to you know double check what are the sets like in comparison. Of course, like I mentioned, a lot of these cards will be in English Chilling Rain, but for some reason you'll have the cards that'll just be left out. The trainers will be included, of course, which is nice, as well as all the rainbow cards, alt arts, etc. I think Chilling Rain has a total of 13 alt arts, which is massive. But then again, you look at Eevee Heroes, that one Japanese set or Korean set will have 15, I mean not 15, uh, 12 in one release. I can't imagine how many Evolving Skies we'll have. All right, so we're still plowing through these packs. I'm gonna go a little faster since we already went, we, we already found our Seeker Rares actually. Dug them up like an expedition. We have Leiron, Gallade, and Galarian Slowking. Look at that. No longer a uh, V or V Max card, but that's from uh, Matchless Fighters. Alrighty. So we have our lovely packs. Also, somewhat color coordinated since Matchless Fighters has a bit of blue there. And if you put red and blue together, you get purple. So a little bit coordinated. Another Tapu Fini. Okay, so I think the Silverlands pile is getting a little bit tall. Let's go ahead and dig a bit into that one. I can already see the Jet Black Poltergeist pile kind of drowning in the snippets there. Okay, with Steenie, we have Avalug, Porygon 2, and Flannery. I still haven't pulled her yet. She's a lovely trainer card to pull. But very happily got Caitlyn. Would prefer the regular um, full art trainer as opposed to the rainbow full art trainer, but I can't complain. We did get a secret rare. Got Lillipup, Sable, one of my favorite Sable cards. Hatena, Tentacruel, and Thunderous. I wonder if Thunderous is gonna get a VMAX card or a V card since Tornadus got one and an alt art. 
I know uh, Jay really wants that Zera or a full art. Just oh, the, that's such a cool card. Such a cool card. And not, not even the alt art. He wants the regular full art. Yeah, I was surprised. That one you like so, that better. Yeah, so nice. <gasps> Ice Rider Calyrex. Very, very nice. Bododexu is the Korean name. And there's a, I think it's like Book... Oh, Bekma. Bekma Bododexu. Complex name in Korean. <laughs> As you know, Shadow Rider versus Ice Rider Calyrex. But yes, Zera Aura. Maybe one day we'll find it. Been finding more... Uh, rainbow trainers than anything else lately though and also alt arts All right tim pull seabold thwacky no pull there let's see what else we can get let's get onto mattress fighters i actually haven't even seen a bird for a while that's so interesting maybe we'll get moltres because moltres always likes to come up for me for some reason okay hatena simeon stout then and a vest Okay, so no pull there either. Let's get onto Silverlands. I noticed the pile slowly getting a bit bigger on this side. So we're gonna migrate there. But yes, also again, let me know in the comments below what you guys think think to this type of video. Does the comparison help? Does the explanation explanation help to explain the differences between the Korean and the English versions? Oh, we got Sandaconda VMAX. I don't think I even have this yet. So very nice pull. Number 44 out of 70. Again, thicker texture and increased saturation. I love pulling cards I haven't seen yet, so that's very cool. Even if I pulled it in another language, if I don't have it in that one language, I do want to have it because I do collect these sets in multiple languages. C. Dot, Clubopus, Shift Tree, and Rillaboom, Gori Gorida. A little bit different compared to the Japanese name, which is like Gorianda. I know Jay likes to say it a lot. I do. Gorianda. And also Ace Burn. And also, actually, the Inteleon and Gengar decks are also going to be releasing in Korean soon. It's funny because Inteleon's name is a little bit exaggerated in Korean. We have Hatre uh, Hatrin. I believe it's like Inteleon. They, ex they put it in an extra like L-I. So it just, it's just funny. I don't know. I, I find it interesting the differences in the Korean names versus the Japanese names. Gengar is Pentom, which is supposed to sound like Phantom. So another big difference between the Japanese and the Korean names of certain Pokemon. In Japanese, it's gang, uh, Genga. So you leave out the R a little bit. All right, I can't tell you how many packs I have left, but I believe it's around 15. So maybe like a half booster box-ish. So, you know, the three booster boxes is quite a lot, but again, I'm happy to see what the pull rates are like, and I hope this better demonstrates to you also what Korean booster boxes are like in one video as well. Alrighty, so let's see what else we can get. I think we're still due for one more VMAX in Jet Black Poltergeist, and I think we're about to pull it. Let's see what we get. <gasps> yes, and we got Metagross, Metagrossu. I love the pink on this artwork. It looks so intense. And I think also Jay loves this one as well. I do. Number 50 out of 70. It's a really pretty card. Really pretty card, right? And at least we got two flaming chickens today. Blaziken, Bashamo, Bonjiko. Again, I keep saying the names. That's how I remember the names so well over time. Heracross, Seviper, supposed to be fighting with Zangus, Avery, and Drizzile with the lovely yellow borders. All right, Silverlands pile is getting a little bit tall. Let's whittle you down. I'm trying to keep it even because if we had one pile that was taller than the other, that'd be a little bit interesting. Okay, we have Quillfish. Oh, Pyroar, very nice. Saw's book and Ace Burn, Cinder Ace, also the name in English. I'm starting to remember the Korean names and Japanese names more than the English names nowadays. Because also, you know, I like to read the names myself and also put them on screen so you guys can also learn along the journey. We have Cuffing. We have Sneasel, Aurora Energy, and we have Blissey. Very intense V card number 52 out of 70 towards the end of the set. Alrighty, still a bit left. I think we got all the VMAXs. And yeah, even in Silverlands, we got two VMAXs, Sandaconda and Tornadus. All right, no card trick. It's actually a lot easier not having a card trick, not gonna lie. We have Tentacool, and I think we have a V card, Lilligant. Oh, I knew it, it was gonna be Galarian Moltres. Get out of Paya. That is the Korean name. Oh, the sleeves are upside down. Now let's fix that. There we go. And of course, more saturation on these cards. All right, Silverlands. Now I have to tell myself to flip the sleeves. <laughs> it's all good though. Let's see. I think at this point, still like maybe 13-ish packs. I'm losing, I'm again losing track. But it's okay. This has been a fun journey so far. Melanie. Still haven't pulled Melanie either. Wow, there's so many trainers. Again, when you put these three sets together, you're just gonna have such a massive set. I even looked at the card list for Chilling Rain. I even told myself, how would I ever complete the set? It's so big. You agree, right, Jay? Because I'm just it's like, massive, oh my gosh, massive set. I couldn't comprehend how many rainbow rares there are. I'm so used to the smaller sets in Korean and Japanese. I almost started sweating. I was like, that's a lot of rainbow cards. That's a lot of gold cards too. I think there are 12 gold cards in Chilling Rain. 
four from each of these sets, which is a lot of gold cards. In the past, they would just be three. I noticed after battle styles, they started increasing the number of gold cards. All right, guys, I'm just going to speed on through these because I think we saw a lot of the pulls. We're probably just going to get a lot of hollows and V cards at this point because I think we pulled our V maxes. Very nice Porygon Z holographic that also matches the yellow borders, which is very nice. Alrighty, so carry on with Jet Black Poltergeist. I'll probably clear up the snippets in a bit. Let's see, I have Sableye, Ladian, but it's so refreshing opening so many packs at once after a little bit of a break. And look who it is! We have Gengar, also known as Pentel. I'm actually going to hand that to Jay. Thank you. Because it's one of his favorites and he loves collecting Gengars, no matter how many. Apparently, you can't have too many Gengars or That's Crobats. <laughs> or I like the Gengars more than any secret rare. Does Gengar have a name? Uh, I'll think about it later. Alright. <laughs> I think one of my friends uh, suggested the name Chad. Uh, if you have a different name. Maybe, yeah. I think he'll come up with a different name. He yeah. gave he named Eternatus Simon and he named Crobat Phil, so Oh, I love Phil. And he's, he's such a great guy. I think the best guy though is um Neck Pokemon. Oh neck Pokemon. <laughs> Alolan Exeggutor if you guys didn't know who that is because of that long neck. Ooh. Neck Pokemon. Neck Pokemon. And then you also named Krikatoon from Rapid Strike Master. Cute Pokemon. Yeah, cute Pokemon. <sighs> that one time when I was like, oh my god, I hope I get the Urshifu. And he was like, I hope you get cute Pokemon full art. And I was like, I don't want that one. I already have that one. <laughs> and then Pokemon. you know what I pulled? I, I pulled a like, cute Pokemon full art. Uh, that was such a <laughs> so, great video. I was like, Jay, I love that video. Jay, you jinxed me. That was a fun video though. Uh, Mass it, it opening. Was, it was actually jokes. It was actually joke. And it was also another mass opening of Rapid Strike Master in Indonesian. So that was actually a really fun one. But yes, this is probably my longest Korean opening video. I hope you guys are enjoying it. And we got another Porygon Z. Interesting duplicate that's why, that's actually quite close to one another. But again, too, so happy to get so many secret rares. Again, I only expected maybe like one to two. Because you should have seen my previous Korean Pokemon openings, especially Sun and Moon era. I'd barely get any like secret rares. And also on top of that, you get like one or two GXs per box. So stingy. Okay, guys. So I think we have like five packs left. Let's see what else we can get here. Whirlipede, Volcarona, Rag and Rolla, Sharpedo from Isle of Armor, and Swoobat. Okay, we have like one pack of each after this pile, this layer. Silverlands, Jet Black, Poltergeist, and then we're on to our last row been quite a fun journey guys in this video but i hope you enjoyed the opening and i hope you have a good idea of what these sets are like in terms of the korean version of course the packs will look very similar to the japanese version i do not open them by hand because it's a bit difficult uh, compared to the english packs of course those are a lot easier to rip they rip like tissue paper but these need a little bit of manpower for that all right last row of these three sets but again i'm happy to pull at least one bird and as predicted, for some reason, it was Galarian Moltres. Okay, Larvesta, Zangoose, Passimian, Scolipede, and we have um, Single Strike Urshifu. So many different Pokemon, guys, but again, this is what Chilling Rain is going to look like for the most part, with the exceptions of certain cards that I mentioned before. Lapras with Melanie, we have Scorb Scorbunny in the Snow, Porygon, Mittens, Gardevoir Holographic. Okay, not bad for the second to last pack. So our last pack is going to be Jet Black Poltergeist. I saved, I guess, my Tide favorite for last, if that makes sense. Okay, we have Blitzel, Cast Form, Ladybug, Fog Crystal, <gasps> and we got last pack magic with Shadow Rider Calyrex. That is amazing. Uh, Hekma, Barodexu. I had to flip my sleeve, but there we go, guys. We did it. We opened three booster boxes of the three sets of Chilling Rain, but in Korean. So overall, I hope you found this video helpful and also informative in terms of comparing the Korean with the English version of this release. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to smash that like button and also subscribe if you'd like to see more multi-language Pokemon content. Stay safe, everyone. We'll see you in the next video.